Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can walk under the River Thames and actually how surprisingly easy that is. In this episode, we're heading to Greenwich Foot Tunnel, which is one of two pedestrian walkways underneath the river. The other is Woolwich, which is about a 45 minute journey away on public transport. My name's Katie, your guide to London's hidden history. I'm a qualified London Blue Badge tourist guide and I run public walks, private tours and virtual tours all over the capital. So first up, we're going to head to Island Gardens, which is a lovely little public park. It's on the north side of the river in East London, an area called the Isle of Dogs. And this offers spectacular views over the river to the Greenwich Royal Naval Hospital, which was built by Christopher Wren in the late 17th century, specifically for retired sailors. And Wren himself actually said that this was the most beautiful vantage point to see his work. Such was the importance of this land that from the late 1880s, it was proposed to make it a preserved space so future generations could enjoy the view too. After much wrangling in 1895, this park opened to the public and the view was indeed saved. But how do we get over to the other side? Throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, a ferry ran between here and Greenwich, but it was expensive to run and not that reliable. From 1800, purpose-built docks started to be built on the Isle of Dogs, and these needed many more workers, and so the need for a safe, reliable commute grew. A plan was hatched to build a pedestrian tunnel that would allow workers from the south side of the River Thames to get to the London docks and shipyards. The project was designed by Sir Alexander Binney for the London County Council, and it finally opened in 1902. Head through the red brick entrance and you descend around 90 steps, now 52 metres below ground. At this end, you'll notice cast iron reinforced rings added after bomb damage during the Second World War. The rest of the tunnel, running for 1,215 foot, or 370 metres, is lined by glazed white tiles and it's about 9 foot or 2.7 metres across. As well as a spiral staircase, the first lifts, which thankfully have since been upgraded, were installed in 1904. So after a short walk, you emerge into maritime Greenwich, met with the Cutty Sark, and the view back over to the southern side. From here, it's a short walk to admire Wren's Old Royal Naval College. You can look back over the river and see just how far we've walked. So there you have it, it's surprisingly simple to walk underneath the River Thames. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel is free and generally open 24 hours a day. At the moment you're advised to wear a mask when you walk through it and of course cycling is not permitted. Thanks for watching and do subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also let me know in the comments if you've walked through the Greenwich Foot Tunnel and what you thought. I'll be back next week with more of London's hidden history.